what up, what up, what up? Welcome back to the table where everybody eat. Y'all know what to do. Hit that like button for your boy. And if it's your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you don't miss out on the plays and updates we bring to you guys each and every day in the market. Now today we talk about Coppin Corporation, ticker symbol KOPN, which is one of my stocks. I mean, one of my favorite stocks of 2025. I started the year off telling you guys that this would be the penny stock to buy all year or accumulate shares on. And last week, not last week, two Fridays ago, basically on September 12th, they had revealed major news was coming as they posted on their Twitter, we've been building momentum. Now we're ready to redefine what's possible for Warfighter Vision and Mission Critical AR, which is augmented reality. The countdown begins. And as you see from the picture right there, they say big news coming soon, which the news came out and it turned out to be a buy the rumor, sell the news event as the stock actually pulled back. But they did reveal that Coppin secured a transformative $15.4 million award to revolutionize color micro LED technology and domestic production for U.S. Army ground soldier integrated visual augmented reality applications. Now, this marks a pivotal moment for Coppin solidifying their leadership in micro LED technology and establishing a robust U.S. based production capability for this critical defense technology. And the funding empowers Coppin to develop full color micro LED micro displays tailored for integrated visual AR systems augmented reality, delivering unmatched performance in diverse lighting conditions from intense daylight to low visibility environments. This breakthrough technology ensures crystal clear visuals, enabling warfighters to maintain focus and make critical decisions in high stress combat scenarios. And I quote, this is a transformative moment in Coppin's history and growth trajectory as this contract and the expected follow on non dilutive infrastructure investment contracts will be the bedrock which we will build the next decade of foundational innovations upon. Coppin's expertise in micro LED technology coupled with our domestic manufacturing capabilities is transforming how America's warfighters see and interact with the battlefield. Close quote. Coming from Michael Murray, the CEO and president of Coppin Corporation. So this award would not only strengthen Coppin's innovation pipeline, but it will also enhance national security by reducing reliance on foreign supply chains in other countries and continents and things of that nature partaking in our national security. It also positions Coppin to provide key components for the development and production of AR systems that will define the future of battlefield vision. Now, I know I covered a lot, but to sum it up, Coppin continues to empower U.S. warfighters with the tools they need to succeed in the most challenging environments, bringing us to the daily chart. And on the daily chart, we actually could get rid of these trend lines now. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and start with something fresh. So after all this time, we will get rid of these here. I could keep that one to see if we stay above it, but we'll go ahead and get rid of it, start to clean this chart up and get things looking right. So as you see on the daily chart here, this thing looks slightly extended, but it looks gorgeous as the MACD has came all the way down here. It did not go negative. We stayed in the positive territory and crossed back above that signal line or the histogram. And then here we are respecting that area or respecting that level the whole trend upward. And now you see we are slightly extended on the MACD and we went to our price target of 2081 cents. Speaking of the price target of 281, here's our Discord community. Everybody eats where a link will be below in the description that pinned in the top of the chat. And every morning, roughly before market opens, I give them a watch list. And on this watch list, I told the community how I was looking for a break above 2047 cents to 252 with a short term price target of 277 to 282. And like you guys just seen, we made it to our price target at 281, 282. So now we will be reassessing. But link will be below in the description, depending on the top of the chat. If you guys want to come see what we're looking at, the plays we're in from swing trades to option plays, long term holding, penny stocks, mid cap stocks, you name it. For instance, our $4 strikes we have on Coppin Corporation, I believe expiring in April of 2026 is now up 17%. Shout out to my disciples, shout out to my legacy traders, Tank and Tone, who be holding it down for the community, putting out these bangers, man. So, so again, link is below in the description and pinned in the top of the chat if you want to sit at the table where everybody eats, as well as my profile on X or Twitter where I discuss these charts, these levels, everything I see. 
Oh, yeah, we had a nice week once again in the Discord community. Shout out to everybody over there, man. Much love to all of y'all. But you also see this is where I post charts, post levels, things that's going on. I believe I spoke about copping over here. Either way, all in all, man, look at this right here, man. Intel Therapeutics looking beautiful. Like I say, link is below in the description, depending on the top of the chat, if you guys want to join us over there in the Discord community or I'll follow your boy over on X. Now, back to Copy Corporation and going down to the two hour time frame. Here on the two hour time frame, you see from the MACD, we are cooling down a bit as we hit our 281, well, not our 281 price target. We made it there, but we didn't, we didn't necessarily close there. So even though we touched it, that is definitely a good sign. If we cannot stay above, let's just say 250, but even right now we got this, what, this 260 zone, the cycle level of 260. If we can't stay above this 247 to 250 zone, then that's where we probably could come back, retest this solid demand at that 221, and get us something of this nature here, come down, retest that, and then make our way back up to the upside. That would be sweet, that would be ideal. Also, keep in mind with this, with the news that they dropped or brought in and caused this stock to sell off, after this stock pulled back from those highs of around $3 and went back as low as, I believe, right here around this 221, yep, September 15th. So as you see, this was the spike on September 12th that they had and caused this stock to go up. And then this is what happened that following day. Came and found our support area. You guys already know, over, been over here in a while. You guys know these levels to a T by now if you've been following us with Copper Corporation. So we came back to this zone. We ended up gapping up, holding well around that 230, and then continued up to the upside, bringing us to the 30-minute time frame. I skipped over the hour and went over to the 30-minute because I wanted to see on the lower time frame how momentum was looking. And as you see, the MACD is actually below the signal line, below the histogram line, pulling back slightly heavy. But how many times did we hold up on this 50 SMA right here? We actually been holding up for a little bit of time. We got this one, two, fell beneath it, reclaimed it slightly, held it again, fell beneath it. But either way, even if we do lose it again, that 247 may come into play to hold us up. If we lose that, I am looking for this 235 area to come as an area, maybe even not. We could see this 240. So if we lose 240, ultimately, forget the 247. I mean, keep it in mind, there's a line of the sand. If we lose 240, we got to be focused around this 235, 230 zone. But I wouldn't mind seeing something come back to that 221 for us to go up higher. Not saying I want that, but, I mean, keep that in mind. Because over here at the table, like I say every single time, man, we don't predict. We react to whatever the charts give us, man. So that's what I have for you guys on Copper Corporation. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you guys are new, hit that like button. Share this thing out to your folks. But much love. We out.